So Ryan, uh, what tips do you have for job seekers? Because my intention is helping job seekers finding jobs here in Vancouver or, or outside Vancouver. Mm -hmm. So what can they can do to differentiate themselves, to be unique? How can they can use social media, networking? What tips you have seen in your life that are useful to job seekers? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I think a few, um, you know, kind of simple things uh, that, that, you know, a surprisingly few candidates, um, you know, exercise is, is um, you know, things like uh, just trying to differentiate yourself from, from everybody. I mean, um, you, you know, I think the vast majority of candidates, uh, you know, they, they, you know, log onto a website, they identify a job that they're interested in, they upload a resume, and then they, they just kind of hope that everything yeah. works out. Okay. And, and I, I think that that may work for a lot of positions, but I think if you really want to like separate yourself from the pack, I, I think that there's kind of a, a few really simple things that you can do. One is, um, you know, come up with something that's, that's unique on your resume. I think that like there's the, you know, the, the resume templates out there um, that, that are, um, you know, I, I think that there's the, perhaps the, the false belief that you know your your resume needs to to fit with like a a very two formal page, yeah. you know like two page or one page kind of style and and, and I, I think that like you know especially if you're a recruiter who's you know potentially reviewing hundreds of or thousands of resumes a year um, you know they all start to blend into one another yeah. and and so I, I think the way to stand out is um, to 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 do something that is, um, you know, offers a bit of your own flair, and um, you know, to, to to make a statement on your resume, whether that's a, a written statement or a visual statement or, or something that, that catches the eye of the recruiter and kind of stands out, and you know, something that that I always find really interesting to read is, you know, like when, you know, when, when we're we're kind of reading the the one or two sentence summary of you know who you are and why you're looking for a job. I think people tend to, to default to something that's that's very you know poised generic. and for, formal and generic, um, and and the ones that always really stand out to me are the ones where there's there's some flair where you can actually like feel the person's Just personality, be yeah, and be be authentic and and you know don't worry about um, you know what you think the recruiter wants to to see as opposed to you know what's what's genuinely gonna. Uh, transmit a, a sense of your personality. Do you feel that sometimes the applicant tracking system kind of being negative to job seekers because we know that applicant tracking system everyone is different sometimes you just upload your resume and then you have to rewrite everything sometimes they have to see those keywords sometimes it doesn't allow to upload a video do you feel that sometimes the applicant tracking system is not helping the job seekers? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, you know, thankfully our applicant tracking system tends to preserve everything in pretty high fidelity. So if you, you know, upload a formatted resume, we'll get that. And um, I don't believe we're receiving video at this point, but I think if you, you know, if you dropped a YouTube link in there yeah. or something, we, we'd be able to view that. I think, you know, also like, you know, having a, a really, um, you know, detailed LinkedIn profile is always helpful. I, I think that, you know, we always kind of use that as a, um, you know, source of kind of like rounding out our understanding of the, the resume. So, you know, I, I would encourage people to do that. But yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't trust that, you know, the applicant tracking system at every organization is going to necessarily preserve everything that you're, yeah. you're trying to convey. So, um, you know, to the to the degree possible, like I, I would, you know, kind of focus on, you know, maybe the, the written word and, yeah. and make sure that there's at least enough kind of flair and sense of personality in that. Um, I, th I think another thing that, that a lot of folks don't do is, is realize that, you know, that there's a lot of other ways other than just the application form to access a company. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I know we, we have a lot of events out in the community where you ha can have opportunity to to meet the team, to find out more about the company, to um, you, you know, to uh, create some relationships yeah. that you can lean on, and and um, you know, I, I know um, you know factually that the people who have spent time with us in the community have uh, introduced themselves to our recruiters, um, you know, have have kind of like gone outside of just the the rote system um, you know for for applying for jobs tend to be the ones that have the most success because we you know we have that additional context about you know um, having met somebody having had that conversation having you know kind of fleshed out the personality yeah. behind the resume so I'd, I'd encourage you know an, ap an applicant you know especially if, if you're um, 
you know, if, you're, if you're focused on a particular company or a particular industry, um, you know, get familiar with that industry, understand who the people are, and, and develop some relationships behind the scenes because that'll go a long ways. Um, you know, and I, I think that um, you know, other than that, like I, I, I would probably encourage. Um, you know, I, I think that. There's, there's a lot of folks who are, are in the market that kind of have the, the, the spray and pray approach yeah. to things or, you know, I'm just going to upload my, my resume to, Everywhere. <laughs> you know, 50, 50 different uh, yeah. um, companies and, and hope for the best. And, and I, I think that, like, companies can perceive that pretty quickly. Like, if, you're, if your resume um, doesn't have anything that, you know, speaks uniquely to the opportunity that you're seeking out, um, you know, if, if there's like a lack of attention to detail, yeah. um, you know, if, if you're, you're uploading the same cover letter that you've uploaded to, <laughs> to 15, the name exactly, the you know, th those kinds of things. I mean, you know, that's, that's table stake stuff that yeah. the people should be getting right. But I also think that like people tend to have more success when they are, when they've been more like careful and selective about what are the places that I'm actually like inspired to work at. Yeah. Right. And then that doesn't necessarily need to be one or two places. It can be 10, but but when, when, you know, if you narrow your search and, and do the research and kind of understand about the do business, the do the homework, um, you know, that always comes through in the, in the resumes or the early phone screens. And, and I, I, can, I can tell you that, you know, I'm, I'm always um, inspired positively by the people who can, you know, tell me a little bit about our business. Tell me a little bit about our product. Tell me what is, um, you, know, you know, what ultimately convinced them to apply. Yeah. Uh, why, why do they care about Clio versus any of the other mm -hmm. places? I think um, if somebody can signal to me that, you know, that they've been deliberate about applying for, for this opportunity and, and, and that there's good rationale behind that, that gives me a lot more confidence that they're going to be a good fit for the company. Those are great tips, uh, Ryan. Thank you again. And for the audience, if you have any other tips that you are doing and working for you, please leave it in the comments uh, section. Uh, like and share the video and tune in tomorrow for my final question with Ryan.